A few weeks ago, we reviewed a retro console game that was sent to us by Go Game Geek. And guess what? They have sent us another one. So, welcome to the review of the Ambernic RG351 MP, the perfect metal console. Well, let's find out if it is. Tiago here, welcome back, or welcome, and if is that the case, let me tell you, we do tech reviews and unboxings of cool tech, like this one today. And if something that interests you, please consider subscribing, leave a thumbs up in this video and share it all around. With this said, let's start the review. Starting with the price, the Ambernic RG351MP has a price tag of $159.99. Like always, I will leave links in the video description. Please check them up for best price and product information. The Ambernic RG351MP has a ROG chip, RK3326 at 1.5 GHz, a Mali G31 GPU with 1 GB RAM. Comes with a 3.5 inches IPS display with a range of 440 by 480 has a 3500 mAh battery and weights only 267 grams. The RG351MP has the highest quality and has to be the best quality handheld in the market. I compare it with Apple. The iPhone 13 Pro Max and the RG351MP side by side look amazing. The RG351MP is made of aluminium and it comes in three colors. Matte black, mint green, and the best one, in my opinion, Ocean Blue. The screen is a 3.5 inches IPS, with a resolution of 640x480 and an aspect ratio of 4x3, perfect for playing retro games. They look good on this screen. It is a clear screen with bright colors, not HD, but is the best that you will find on this type of handhelds. The RG351MP comes with a normal control scheme. The D-pad is on the left and is great for fighting games. The quality is really good. The RG351MP has two analog sticks, like the Nintendo Switch, with R3, L3 functionality. The action buttons have a nice bounce to them, are very good to use and comfortable for long gaming time. On the top, you have the four shoulder buttons, again, nice, comfortable to use. Two USB-C ports, one for charging and the other one for the Wi-Fi dongle. And this is a step back, not having the built-in Wi-Fi. In the middle, you have the headphone jack. On the bottom of the RGB351MP, you have the two SDC card slots. One 16GB SD card for your memory and 128GB with all the games a reset button and two speaker grills, which offer a decent sound quality. The sound test will be later on this video. On the left side, the volume buttons and on the right side, the on and off button. On the back, the RG351MP have two rubber grips that help with long gaming sessions, the branding and the product information. The build quality on this ocean blue model is amazing, and I love it, but let's see how the handheld performs. Performance-wise, the RK3326 chip is outdated, and this may make hard to sell the RG351MP to the retro gaming enthusiasts. If you own a RG351P, for example, the chip is the same, so you know what to expect. The RG351MP chip can emulate all the retro consoles up to PS1, with some Nintendo 64 games, but many of the PSP games will struggle. However, if you stick with the consoles up to PS1, you will be very happy with the performance of the RG351MP. 
and with the 4 by 3 display, the games do look stunning. Out of the box, the RG351MP uses emulation station, which, in my opinion, is very easy to use. However, you can change the OS to something else, such as 351 ELEC. Talking about battery now, the RG351MP comes with a 3500 mAh battery, giving you around 8 hours of battery life. At the end of the day, the RG351MP is a beautiful device. Build quality is excellent, and it's by far one of the best handhelds I have played until today. If you have been sitting on the fence to buy one of the RG351 series, then the MP model is a very good choice. And that's it guys, this was our review on the Ambernic RG351 MP. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did, please consider subscribing, leaving a thumbs up in this video and because it's nearly Christmas, Merry Christmas everyone! Catch you guys later!